Coffee Moon Volume 1 Review, in the film Groundhog Day, Bill Murray's character uses the fact he is trapped in a time loop to ultimately improve his life and those around him to help break his cycles. In Coffee Moon, it seems our heroes attempt to improve things in the time loop she is trapped in may not always be improvements. An art student called Pieta has been leaving her 60th birthday 1033 times now. He has appeared to have gotten into a habit of leaving the day in the exact same very very time. Every time, she's used to attending her first day at school, umbrella in hand to protect her from the back green and is constantly failing outside. However, her friend Danai is also stuck in the same loop, hates it, and desperately wants to find a way to escape it. <laughs> Danai first gets Pieta to try to do things that she can has done, hasn't done. This includes visiting an expensive department store, buying clothes, visiting a rooftop amusement park, and then breaking into a museum late at night. They are caught by the guardian of the museum, who happens to be another of their classmates, but before anything truly awful happens to them. The clock strikes midnight and the loop restarts. In the next loop, they attempt to befriend a girl at the museum. This girl is Chiaro, the daughter of a hated high-profile politician, whose life is constantly under threat by a group of extremists. She does excited to become friendly with Pieta and Danai, with the same violence that Chiaro has become used to. This difference to Pieta's day caused another problem, with this new relationship threatens both of their lives. With the idea of time loops, is nothing new in the world of manga. It is interesting to see a lead character who begins the story, at least, to be happy with their lot and content with playing the same day over a thousand times. The fact that she's not made any attempt to change her routine means that those around her appear to be safe. Even if they are too are trapped in a toe loop on Wheelie, it is only once those around Pieta encourage her to break the cycle that things become dangerous for her. Thus it makes for some interesting storytelling from Mochi Dobuta. The artwork is also good for a miserable rainy setting at the character design. A scene in which Pieta and Danai go shopping gives the creator the chance to draw the characters in a Lolita fashion. Danai in a god look, Pieta in a sweeter design. Having said that, a point where Chiharo talks about having a spend her vast wealth on things to protect her life leads to her saying, it's enough to make a girl sick of shopping, which just sounds a little bit old school sexist, as if shopping is the main thing girls care about. As for Manamanga's production, Carl Ransom's translation appears to have more, no, more, no major issues with what we're bringing up, and Philip Christie's lettering is all good. Nothing stands out regarding the two, but there are also no problem. There are no problems either. The manga also comes with a few shorts bonus. Pages give some extra humor to what is most the dramatic manga. This volume ends on a cliffhanger, moments with leaves in danger, and gives the mysterious nature of the story. It should be worth looking into more. 6 out of 10.